So this is one of my essential items. Um, I carry this around because I found this on a movie set one day and it's really cool because whenever you wanna like end a conversation with someone, you just go, you know, or I'll be like, hey, let's start the conversation about how you owe me money and action. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Trevor Noah, comedian and host of The Daily Show and these are my essentials. First item, my electric toothbrush. I know it doesn't seem like an essential thing, but this is my real toothbrush, this is my road dog. See those scars, look at that, those battle scars. That's traveling, that's Ohio. That one over there is Tucson. That one over there is Austin. Power, oscillating, pulsating. I used to brush my teeth with a normal toothbrush, and then when you discover this, it's like moving from a horse carriage to a car. That's what life is all about. You forget to brush, you brush twice as hard the next day. That's what I do all day, every day. My grandfather used to say to me, he said, Trevor, if you don't brush, you brush when you can. And that's what I've been doing ever since, brushing as much as I can. There are a few things in my life I consider more essential than headphones. These are easily my favorite things ever. I think Bose has done the greatest job of creating noise canceling headphones. If you fly, you know what it's like to have a baby crying. These, no baby. Like, I even forgot that I had a baby on the flight. I left the baby behind. And then they called me later, they're like, yo, did you leave a baby? And I was like, oh snap. And then I came back. Then I realized it wasn't my baby. And I was like, what just happened here? That's how good these headphones are. And then, these are great. Little AirPod Pros. They go straight into your ear. These are great for like short trips, you know, like a little 15 minute noise cancellation thing. I see some people wearing them in the streets in New York and I don't do that because I don't wanna die. You gotta hear what's happening in New York. Cause sometimes like a bicycle is flying by. Sometimes cars jump the curb. It doesn't happen a lot, but it's enough for me to not wanna noise cancel. I wanna hear my death coming. I'm not gonna avoid the death, but I just wanna be able to be like, ah! This is an essential. If you live in a city where there is rain. California, you can skip this part. I know you guys don't know what rain is, but the rest of the world, as a little kid, I loved umbrellas. I loved Mary Poppins. I loved spies that could shoot umbrella things, you know, like they shoot the little thing out of the tip, that thing. So I found one of these. This is my essential. It's an umbrella that opens the other way. It's like magic. Look at this, look at this. Huh? What? 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 You see that? Other way. And then when you're getting into a car, you just do this move. You just do this. And then I meet people at my destination and they're like, oh, weren't you in the rain? Then I'm like, no, I was. But I had my essentials. And that's why I'm good. And you're not. This is just an essential. I don't like traveling with a laptop. It's too cumbersome. It's heavy on my back. Also don't like just having like a tablet because then sometimes websites are just like, are you using a big phone? Then I'm like, no, I'm using like a big device. I wanna see the full website, but then they don't want you to see the website. So this is a Surface Pro X and it's basically a tablet if I need it to be one. And then it's a, a laptop if I need it to be one. And then what's cool is that I have my little pen that hides on the inside over here. See that? It has a little camera, which I don't use. I don't ever understand how people use the cameras on these things. It looks a bit weird, taking photos like. But it's nice to have a device because it makes you feel like a professional. And then when people see you typing, it's like, wow, what is that person doing? You know, doing this whole thing. Yeah, but if you're on this side, you would see, all I'm typing is, Google, how fast can Superman fly? Wow. This lip balm is easily like one of the most essential things in my life. I have one of these everywhere. I've tried like a bunch of things, but I like the Blistex specifically just because I feel like it stays on your lips for long. Some chapstick feels like a scam, you know what I mean? Like some of the, like you put like a lip balm on and then it feels like it makes your lips dry so you need more. And I find this doesn't do that. They say it's medicated as well. I don't know what that means, but I just like the sound of anything medicated. Just a quick tip though, it's gonna break when you drop it. That always happens. See that over there? But that's, I mean, that's life, you know? I'd rather have cracked lid than cracked lips. Simple essential. This is one of the quirkiest essentials that I own. I think it's one of the most underrated pieces of technology that's ever been invented. A pair of glasses known as 
spectacles. And these were made by Snapchat. They may not be everybody's style, but I love them when I travel because when I'm on vacation, I don't always like to have my phone out. I feel like it takes you out of the moment. So what's great about these is you can wear them and then you can just like press a little button, you see over there? And uh, right now I'm recording you, recording me. Like I've used these when I was fishing for piranhas in, in the Amazon jungle. Uh, I've used these when I was like, like hiking through Peru. And what's great is you don't stick your phone in people's faces. Cause that's what I hate about like traveling a lot of the time is people just, you know, also makes me feel like a spy. Cause deep down inside, I'll always be 11 years old. This is what's known as uh, Project X Cloud. I have been playing video games since the very beginning, since I knew how to use my hands. Uh, my mom was a Pac-Man champion. A lot of people don't know that. And so whenever I leave the house, I always regret that I don't have my console. It's a um, service from Xbox where you play all your games like at home or just any game you want, wherever you are. So I'll be like playing like a full on driving game. I'll be playing Gears of War. If I've got internet, I can play like a real game. You know what I mean by like a real game. Like if you play video games, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm not like a fan of like the mobile version of a game. I wanna play the real thing. And so this is it. By the way, people who play video games in movies and TV shows, stop doing this. That's not real. That's not a real thing. Video games, people are very calm. Most of the time, this is, when you're really playing a video game, this is what it sounds like. That's real. This has become an essential in my life. I suffered a vocal cord injury a few months ago, hemorrhagic polyps, and my doctor told me it's because my voice gets too dry. That's from a lot of flying, that's from not drinking enough water, etc. And so I got one of these, a portable humidifier, like makes steam. Whenever I fly on, like every few hours, I'll just use this. I'll put this over my face. It like lubricates everything and then it's like cool. And if you're on a flight where people can choose their seats, no one will sit next to you because you look like you're gonna infect everybody on the plane. So I just sit there and everyone, I'm like, please join me. <coughs> join me. Nobody sits next to you. One final item, my timepiece. Grew up in a home where I always loved watches. Uh, my father is Swiss, so it's almost a prerequisite. He would bring me two things from Switzerland every time he would come back home to South Africa. He'd bring me a watch and he would bring me the chocolates. And so I've, I've loved collecting. And this is easily my most essential piece. If I had to keep one watch and one watch alone, it would be this Patek Philippe 5650G, the advanced research. One of the most beautiful pieces ever made in my opinion. It's got all of the work of a Patek Philippe, a beautiful design, but at the same time, it doesn't take itself too seriously. You know, you've got this like fun rubber strap. You can wear it whenever you want. You've got the open face. I don't know if you can see that, right? You don't see that on any other Patek Philippe. This was the first time where they showed you a few of the internals of their timepiece. I'm not a big fan of like diamond watches or anything. I think that's weird because I actually want to tell the time. I don't want to look down and be like, what's the time? Diamond past two? So this is one of my essentials and it reminds me of my dad because that's what we always shared was a love of time and timekeeping. And if you know any Swiss people, you'll know that it's not a passion, it's what they have in their bones. They're obsessed with time. A bit crazy if you ask me. I just like the watches. Well, that's my essentials. Thank you so much for having me, GQ, and thank you for watching. If you like any of the stuff I have, you can send an email to my website and I won't be able to help you, but I will now have your mailing address, which I will use to invite you to all of my comedy shows. Don't, don't email me. Actually, I regret saying that. Don't, don't email me about any of these items, please.